Hi guys, and today we're continuing our navigation through ocean classification by talking about the smallest sponge class in the phylum Periphera, Homo scleromorpha. If you're new here, I'm all things marine. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you love the ocean as much as I do, and make sure you smash that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any of the weird ocean creatures that I talk about. Homo scleromorpha is the smallest class in the phylum Periphera, and it is also the newest class that has been differentiated. It was originally a part of the Demospongae class, but with new genetic technology, this group has been divided from that class. They all have a leuconoid body plan. If you don't know what that is, I suggest you check out my previous videos in the top right hand corner. But they all have a leuconoid body plan. These kinds of sponges typically are found on another surface, encrusting it in shallower waters. Maybe a more common name for them should be encrusting sponges? More recent studies involving the Mediterranean Sea show that these strange sponges may thrive in underwater cave ecosystems. Another unique attribute of these sponges is the presence of an epithelium. For those of you who don't know what an epithelium is, it is a type of tissue that usually coats the internal and external organs of an organism. This structure is referred to as a basement membrane in sponges. There are typically several oscula among these sponges, and there are less than 100 species recognized in this class. They are known for having very small spicules which are differentiated structural cells that I have previously talked about before. The species in this class are differentiated by the various colors or spicules or even the water system that they have. I hope you all enjoyed learning about Homo scleromorpha sponges.